Not good. You know, round one was like, wow, I didn't even get it, guys. Hey, let me just take another bite. Takes another bite that close to vomiting. Hey, holidays are every day, the show where we give you a reason to celebrate every day. And today is National Pizza Day. Also known as Pizza Pie Day, pie-shaped flatbreads with toppings were first eaten in Naples in the late 18th and early 19th centuries. The working poor, or Lazzaroni, lived in outside or in small homes and needed cheap food. Pizza consisted of flatbread with toppings such as tomatoes, garlic, cheese, anchovies, and oil. And it was sold by street vendors and formal restaurants and eaten for any meal. Pizza actually did not gain a foothold in Italy at the time, and it was in the United States where the Neapolitans immigrated to that pizza gained in popularity. But we're not here for a history lesson. You're here to see me eat some pizza, and I asked you guys on Twitter and Instagram, which by the way, if you're not following me, what are you doing? You can help out with future episodes because I often ask for suggestions over there for episodes like this. So follow me. But I asked you guys to give me weird ideas for toppings to put on pizza, and you certainly didn't disappoint, so let's get right into it. All right, so first up we have T-Bone Money Mayweather, who says nothing, not even cheese, just cooked sauce. Listen, guys, I mean, I, I thought getting cheese pizza was kind of a waste of ordering pizza, but like, you take the cheese off, there's there's nothing good left about it. But okay, I'm going to take the cheese off. Dough and sauce. Listen, I haven't had lunch yet, and I'm it's like 3 o'clock. I'm starving, dude. So, I mean, this is, even this is fire right now. I'll eat this all day, but we got better ones. Like the second one, Micah MP4 says I should put garlic. So I got some minced garlic here. I, I, again, I mean, I feel like garlic is uh, a flavor that goes with pizza. This isn't that weird, you guys. I mean, maybe just straight minced garlic on top, but come on. I asked you guys for weird toppings. But okay, here we go. Wow, that's fire. By the way, I give the last one a 5 out of 10 because it's not bad, but it's also like you're not adding anything good. This is easily at least a 7 out of 10. I'm eating this whole little slice right now. Mm. Guys, if you got garlic, minced garlic laying around your house and you happen to have cheese pizza, or even, if, I mean, any kind of pizza, throw garlic on top of any kind of pizza, you know? Look at how some people like to put hot sauce on the pizza. Throw some garlic on there. Great idea. All right, number three, Ariana Gagnon says popcorn. Again, this actually this sounds pretty good. Definitely a weird topping, so I'll give you that. You 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 got a you got a point for that. You at least gave me a weird topping. But again, I mean, that actually sounds like it'd be pretty good to throw some popcorn on here like this, I guess. Mmm, the butteriness. Mmm, here's the thing. It's good, but you're not really adding much flavor. I mean, what's popcorn taste like? Just, it's just crunchy butteriness you know that's pretty much it and you know you throw it on top of pizza it doesn't really stay on top of the pizza it's kind of just an inconvenience it kind of just obliterates the roof of your mouth so i mean you know uh, I, i'm a, i'm a, another as another five out of ten you know what i mean it's like it's not bad but definitely could be better i think i'm gonna eat some more popcorn though Next up, DJ Chopped Hell says, pickles. I've got some hamburger dill pickles. Huh. Well, you might need to change it to pizza dill if this works out. Again, weird topping. Definitely would never expect pickles on a pizza. However, I, I can't see this being bad. I've had a really massive craving for pickles lately, too. 
people at work are like, what are you, pregnant? One, one of my coworkers brought in a jar of pickles. In the matter of three days, I ate the whole jar. Just me. Nobody else ever ate them. It's a little sweet. It's not quite a sweet pickle, but it's a little sweeter than a normal dill pickle. But I guess that's because it's a hamburger dill. Anyways, we'll bite into it this way. Okay. Okay. Again, the flavors really go together. Uh, I have a horrible feeling that's very quickly going to change, but... In future rounds, again, it's got to lose some points for uh, not being able to stay on there. But it is really good. Definitely better than the popcorn. I'm going to have to give this one a 6 out of 10. Mmm. Throw another picker on. Picker? picker? Throw a picker on there? This is just like a mukbang now. Now, before we move on, I do want to remind you guys, it is Pride and Food Service Week, so follow me on TikTok. I'm going to be ranting all week on my twi on my twick twock about uh, what it's like wor working in food service. Uh, and I do have a lot to say, so definitely follow me over there. Let's move on. And next up, number five, we have... I literally got four people, four different people that suggested the same thing. And this was on Instagram. So like other people can't see other people's responses. So it's not like people were like agreeing, being like, oh, yeah, you should try this. But so Jamie's Trotta said anchovies. Rosie JC said anchovies, but only the heads. I just got a freaking thing of canned anchovies here. So I'm just going to do the whole thing. Antonio the Gamer wins, said Anchovies, and Mr. Glitch Cosmic Pants, shout out to Hunter, said Anchovies or Sardines. I love that. So I also got some sardines here, but I'm actually going to use that later for something else. Stay tuned. But uh, let's open up the Anchovies. And uh, again, by the way, like I've never ordered Anchovies on pizza, would never order it, but that is something that people do order. Like that's... Like, literally, the, the place I went to to get this pizza, like, you can get anchovies as a topping. So that's not really what I meant by weird toppings. I meant stuff that you, nobody would ever normally put on pizza. But, hey, you know what? It's still probably freaking horrible, especially with the way I'm doing it here. Oh my god, this is, this is disgusting. Why would you ever order this? Are you just trying to ruin your pizza? If you get this. Okay, here we go. Anchovies. Gotta love them. Oh. No. No. That's not it. No, no, no. That's disgusting. Fishy. Extremely salty. I am still eating it, because that's how hungry- Gah! Gah! Woo! That's salty, my guy! What is this, salt water it's sitting in? What? Well, I guess that's kind of where they live. <laughs> I'm like trying to be funny. What is this? Are they sitting in salt water in here? No, they live in salt water, dude. Three out of ten. I'll give it a three out of ten, because it's like... It's- it is f***ing terrible. But also, I, like, I would finish this piece, you know? It's not repulsive. I'm not vomiting yet. I'll take another bite. I've finished every other slice. God damn. That's nasty. Now, also, I did just take store-bought anchovies out of a can and throw them on a cheese pizza. I'm sure if you order anchovies on pizza and it's actually like cooked into it, it, it'd it probably be even better. It'd probably go up to like a four. Next up, we got Rapper Nightmare, who said gummy worms. Dilly, shout out to Dilly, Loco Rap Battles, uh, also said gummy worms. Synap Synaptic Overload, I can read, said gummy bears. And Matthew... Matthew, you know I know you. I don't, how do you, I always say Picado, but I feel like that's wrong. So I'm just going to say Picado. Matthew Picado. 
Dude, that's not cool. Matthew Picado, 2002, said Swedish fish. Swedish fish. So I'm taking all of those suggestions and I'm making a gummy ass pizza. That's right. Here we go. Gummy worms, gummy bears, and uh, Swedish fish. I love, dude. Name the best gummy candy, Swedish fish. Nothing even comes close. Gummy masterpiece of a slice. That's pretty cool. This gummy mountain. No. No, no, no. No, no. No, no, no. No. That's not it. I actually thought it might be halfway decent. Those flavors don't mix at all. Like. Ah! Oh, God! Like, literally on this side, in my mouth I got pizza. On this side I got gummies. I try to put them together and I almost gag. Now that's what I'm talking about when I say weird toppings. All right, what's next? We got Neely Ryan 95. Not Ryan. Wait, what? Neely Ryan 95 Ryan. I guess Neely Ryan 95 was taken, so he had to add he had to add another Ryan. He said chocolate. Eric the Audible, shout out to him. He said Nutella or Nutella. I don't know what you people say. And David MP74 MPE74. Wow, I can't read today or really ever. Uh, David MPE74 said ice cream. So I'm putting all those things together and I'm making a ice cream Nutella pizza. So I have, I already have this planned out in my head, right? We're going to open this Nutella. Part of me wants to be like, this might not be that bad. But then I think about the marinara sauce and I'm like, Ugh. okay. So we're going to just smear Nutella across the top of this. I got a little, little haagen -Dazs. Do this here. Now I don't like biting into cold things. So this isn't going to be pleasant. Doesn't look the best. Nutella and ice cream smeared pizza. That's really not that bad. The marinara and the sweetness of the Nutella and ice cream aren't, like, uh, you know, fighting as hard as I thought they would in my mouth. You know? It's like a little off. It's like, eh, there's something in here that shouldn't be. I need this whole thing right now. I, it's like, I keep going up and down. I'm like, oh, that's really good. And then I get, like, a pocket of marinara, and then I'm like, eh. Wow unexpected i want you guys to know i try to put these types of videos like in order of what i think is going to be best to worst and i'm often very very wrong this is this is a a, a 6.7 out of 10 not quite a seven i think seven's a little too good for that six point that's pretty solid i mean these guys were probably like oh man he's not going to be able to eat that crap try it And finally, the moment I really have not been waiting for, OTM Javi on Instagram said, oranges, bananas, mango, ice, apple, fish, mustard, ketchup. Now, he never said and for the record. So I don't know if he meant like you could pick one of these or maybe a couple of these and try them. I'm putting them all together. And then four, four got 10 sons said strawberries and your pal Hayden said I dare you to eat pizza with strawberries and grilled onions. I have all of those things that I'm going to be putting on this slice of pizza. One part of a slice. Banana slice. Part of a mango slice. There it is. Part of an apple slice okay so up until this point this might not be bad it's just a fruity pizza but then he had the nerve to go and say fish mustard and ketchup 
So here we go again with the anchovies. Throw two on top of there. Strawberry slice. Mmm. Mmm. Those are some good ass strawberries, boy. Now Hayden did say grilled onions, but we don't got time for grilling. Raw onion. That's how I like it. Two things across the top there. And then as if this wasn't bad enough. Oh yeah, just throw on some ketchup and mustard. Yeah. Great idea. Ketchup and mustard just on pizza without anything else doesn't even sound good. With this freaking conglomerate, forget it. I got the, oh, why is it so watery? Why is ketchup so aggressive? You're like, okay, I just I just want to squeeze just a little bit just to get a drizzle, and then it's just <laughs> lots of different fruit. Anchovies, onion, ketchup and mustard. Doesn't get much worse than this, guys. Ugh. All right, I just gotta do it. 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 It's, you know, it's bad. I mean, but I've actually had, I've, I've, de I've had worse. I've definitely eaten worse. Like, I didn't even gag, guys. That's a record. I thought for sure with all that shit put together, guaranteed gag. Do I have to take another bite of it now? I gotta at least get the, the strawberry and the banana. The, somebody else requested the strawberry. Oh, God. Throw an anchovy on there too. The anchovy actually helped. I'm not even gonna lie, the anchovy made it easier because it just overpowers everything with salt. <coughs> I spoke too soon. Round two, not good, not good. You know, round one was like, wow, I didn't even get it, guys. Hey, let me just take another bite. Takes another bite, that close to vomiting. Not only did I gag multiple times, that close to vomiting, dude. Oh, is this apple still good? Oh, it's salty. It's got sardine, sardine water on it. Do, do I even have to give this one a rating? Nobody in their right f minds would eat this sh N nor would anybody go through all that effort to put all those things on it. Disgusting, disgrace, negative zero out of 10. That's right, I said it, I said it, I said it. I know it's not a number, but I, I said it. Negative zero out of 10. But don't go anywhere, I'm not done yet. It's also National Canned Food Month. So every single Wednesday this month, I'm gonna be celebrating by eating some gross canned food and I've got sardines, so shout out to you, Hunter, who wanted me to eat that on pizza, uh, but also said anchovies. I ended up picking anchovies, but now I'm gonna eat some sardines by itself for National Canned Food Month. If you wanna share yourself eating some gross canned food or just wanna celebrate really in any way, use hashtag National Canned Food Month and at me, get my attention, and I'll definitely, oh my God. Oh man, this reminds me of the, oh, this reminds me of the, and Sir Stroming, and I'll repost it. Did I say that? Oh, dude, this is this. No, 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 no. You guys know how I feel about like food that looks just like it did when it was alive, man. This is not right. Not horrible, actually. Just more the way it looks and the idea of it. Let me taste it. It's like that. Not nearly as salty as those damn anchovies. I'll tell you that. And now that's it for today's episode. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to support the channel. And I'll see you guys on Friday. Last time I tried to go off screen, I didn't go all the way off, so I just had to cut it in the middle. This time I'm going to try to go. See you next Friday.